Hey, how you doing everybody? Welcome back. I'm gonna do like four videos this week, hopefully. Uh, I'll put them out on different days, but first and foremost, I wanna say thank you to everybody who subscribed. I had a few new subscribers, I really appreciate it. Like I said, if you subscribe to me, you know, I really appreciate people subscribing, joining in, you know, hit the like, comment in the section if you wanna see something or you need help with something, just let me know. Um, but I, you know, if you subscribe to my videos, I'm gonna subscribe to your channel too. I'm subscribed to a bunch of channels already, but I will subscribe. Now, into the video. As you can see, it is a first aid kit. We have a child, he's six years old. But, you know, I do a lot of EDC stuff. I sharpen knives, play around with knives. I'll do a video on sharpening knives too and everything like that, but I do all that type of stuff. And I just wanna, you know, I just think it's very crucial to have one of these around we do have one in our vehicle as well it's a separate one it has a little bit different stuff and i do want to go over the stuff in my vehicle to show you guys i did the bag that i keep in my video in case of something happens and i have to abandon the car or something like that i did sh do a video on that bag you can check it out in the video sections and you know take a look at it i'd appreciate it but i will do all the other stuff that's you know that I have in the car will actually sit in the vehicle and go over the stuff but to get to this this is for the house right here it is the bag is from Target I have different stuff this is a CVS brand you know everybody has a CVS around it's a pain relief anti antiseptic spray so you get a cut or anything like that um you know the basic stuff you should have in it if you have any suggestions, you know, for me, please leave it in the comments below. I'll really appreciate it. This is First Aid Antibacteria Pain Relief. I got that. I think it's a Walmart brand, I believe. Um, different types of tape in here because I do have gauze and stuff like that. It's not a major medical kit. I'm not going to have a bunch of stuff in there, but, you know, I'm adding as I go. But it has kind of like a plastic type tape. And I have a bunch of little, um, it's the little rubber things that when you go to give blood, they use. I used to work in a doctor's office, so I got a few of them when they came in. But, you know, you can actually turn that into a tourniquet or anything, or if you need something like that. Uh, some more of the rubber tape. It's a little bit of a shorter roll. Some of the kind of paper-like tape. Hey. Another type of tape, you know, just keep different types of tape for different situations because there may be a situation where you need it. Another paper style tape. I have a few earplugs in here. I have earplugs in the car as well. And I have earplugs in my little pouch, pouch that used the EDC pouch that I showed you guys before that we did the video on. Uh, another little thing of tape. I have a bunch of little things of tape for some reason. I don't know why, but... Um, I do have uh, medical scissors with the little thing on here so you can get hurt if you're cutting off tape or something like that. It's very good. Here it's a uh, instant cold pack. This actually came with a different um, first aid kit. I just added it to this one because the pouch is much better than the one, the one we had. You just uh, break it, shake it up a little and it becomes instant ice. Uh, I did have an injury to the toe. Sorry about the video bumping like that. Uh, but this is this little sleeve to put over your finger or toe, whichever. And we don't have a lot of snakes here. But we do, you know, take vacations and stuff and go kind of upstate and stuff like that where there's more snakes. It's not just for snakes, it's for stings as well. Uh, we got this at Walmart, yes. It has a little booklet to show you how to take care of it. I did add some stuff to it. Um, it has a little razor. This is a, a razor like they use in a medical office in case you're, uh, you know. I don't know if we can open it without ruining it. But there's a razor inside, so if you have to take some hair away from the area that's either bit or sting, you can do so. There's a, ra a regular razor in there as well, but I have that one. Uh, 
but that one I added, the other one came with the kit, this Sting Relief. And is it expired? Uh, it's about to. I, there's a few band-aids that came with it. I got an alcohol prep. Got the razor that came with it. I only used it once for a bug bite, but or a bug sting. But what you do is you put the little piece right here. You put it over the wound, or over the end, stung area. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. You do it like this. I'm gonna get it focused. Focus, there we go. You do like that and it sucks out the poison from the sting or the snake bite or whatever. So you just pull out the plunger, push in, let it go. And it's kind of like those uh, cupping things that uh, you see a lot of people doing. It definitely reminds me of that. But that's the extractor they call it. Get the air out of it. Just gonna throw it to the side for now because I'll just put this stuff back in it real quick. But it's definitely a good idea to have this stuff around because you never know when you're gonna need it. And then when you need it, you don't have it. It's not good. Oh, I'm just gonna take this off camera for a second so I can take a better look at it to close it. That's that one side, now we're gonna move on to the other side. I have a couple of, uh, you know, the surgical mask now that we need these all the time for everything now. <laughs> and some different types of rubber gloves, some medical ones, some regular ones, some ones with powder without, just in case, you know, someone's allergic or something. This is all stuff from another um, first aid kit. You get the soapy towels there to clean up. And what else do we have here? Hand cleaning wipe and some more of the towels. Just so you know, you gotta clean up after you actually take care of the wounded person. If they're bleeding or what have you. And we also have them here. Oh, this is uh, advanced blood stop. Let me just make sure. We just went through the kit to make sure everything was up to date. Yes, it is. It's just um, kind of like a blood it clocks the blood for you. So it stops the bleeding kind of immediately. Uh, some big band-aids back there. What else do we have? There we go. Um, some little gauze, so if you have an injury that requires something more than a band-aid, a uh, tongue depressor, like I said, I used to work in a medical office, so I have a few different tongue depressors there. I think that's it in the bottom pouch. Uh, let's see. Here, these are cushions, and I have them in the, in the vehicle as well. In case we're walking or going someplace and you start to get a blister or anything, you put this over it. That you can cut it to different sizes. I haven't opened this one, but as you can see right there, if you want to pause on that, this is really good to have. My son was walking and has a blister on his foot, so this would be perfect for that. And then we have different the different pouches we equipped with different size of band-aids. We have the expiration. We took the piece of the box off so we know when exactly, but there's like a medium size. I don't want to confuse which pouch it goes to. Then we have a little bit different size. And another size. These are actually decorated ones. They got different colors and characters on them for my son. And I have... That goes there. And these are steri strips, reinforce the skin, kind of like, uh, you know, if it's not quite bad enough for, say, stitches or anything, but you want to close up the cut and make sure everything's closed. But I'm telling you, this is something that every home should have. You should have one in the vehicle. The one in the, I don't have one on, I have a small one on my get home bag. 
but as you can see when you watch the video for the get home bag I definitely have a large area in the middle that is in case I can throw my little pouch in there with my tools in it and I can throw the first aid from the vehicle in there and I'm off it's just a quick thing so if you guys have any suggestions to add to this or you need any help with your kit please drop a comment below I'd really appreciate it give the thumbs up I always appreciate the support thank you have a great night guys